Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff and today we're checking out an interesting new sneaker that I really think should have gotten more hype. It's the Vans Evident Ultimate Waffle. It's a brand new everyday casual wear shoe from Vans. And honestly, there's a lot to like about this shoe. Let's check them out. Alright, first up, major thanks to Vans Malaysia for sending these in for me to check out. Now here's a shoe that I actually liked wearing over the last couple of days. The Vans Evident, spelt E-V-D-N-T, Ultimate Waffle. Vans is calling this their greatest innovation in lifestyle footwear, which is a pretty huge statement. The Vans Evident Ultimate Waffle looks like they took everything we loved about the Vans Ave Pro and then updated a silhouette with a little bit of the Vans old school, bringing it into a very futuristic territory with this new ultimate waffle construction, consisting of a mesh upper, a nicely padded tongue, and a translucent outsole that combines a built-in ultra cushion sole with an internal stabilizing shank for more cushioning and support. Compared to the Ave Pro, which looks very similar, this shoe seems to be more focused on the breathability and comfort overall. It kind of looks like a skate shoe that's comfortable enough to wear all day, and that's kind of the best way to describe these shoes. The Vans Evident Ultimate Waffle dropped on June 11th, for a price of $100 in the US or 579 ringgit here in Malaysia. The shoe comes in five colors at launch depending on your market. There's this glorious gray multi colorway which is my personal favorite. I just love the futuristic vibe that they have. The second is this black on black colorway which looks more like a Vans old school. And then we have this black multi colorway which looks a little bit more subtle with more grays and blacks used. There's also a white on white colorway but that seems to be limited to just the US and a couple other markets. And there's also this marshmallow mint colorway that just looks fun. Of course, I'm assuming there'll be more colorways dropping eventually. Starting with the box, it comes in the usual Vans narrow red cardboard box. You wouldn't really know that there's a new updated Vans sneaker in here, at least until you check out the size tag and open it up. Vans also sent me this cute little ultimate waffle plate to keep my keys, which is awesome. There's a bunch of Vans stickers too, but I don't think you get any of these with the retail box. Would have been pretty cool though if they did that for the first 100 people that bought the shoe. Coming to the shoe itself and starting from the toe box, you'll see this perforated synthetic grey leather that forms the entire toe box, but seems to be stitched on top of this white material to give this area more structure and durability. What's interesting is that this area is leather on this colorway, but is suede on the black colorway which I felt looked nicer. The reinforced white rubbery material is probably here to prevent your toenails from poking through the upper. Moving along the sides, you'll see this mesh material that forms the rest of the upper. You'll see this clear area and these white and grey panels stitched underneath the mesh over and below here. These reinforce the upper just in case you want to try skating in these, like this little ollie pad on the forefoot. Though actual van skate shoes like the Ave Pro would probably be better for skating than these. It's also interesting how the knit pattern of the mesh changes along the upper, where it's more stretchy in some parts and more firmer in some. And of course, you'll see that iconic man side stripe going across the midfoot area of the upper and seems to be embroidered on in this dark grey color. Towards the top, you'll see this grey synthetic leather overlay that forms the eyelets of the shoe, but also reinforces this area as well. You'll also see this tiny Vans flag here in white with the Vans logo in the light bluish grey color. Coming to the top of the shoe, there are these flat white laces that go through a pretty regular lacing system. Underneath the laces, you have this really nicely padded tongue, which feels really comfortable on feet. The interesting thing about the design here is that this shoe is actually a one-piece booty-like construction. So the tongue isn't actually detached, even though it looks like it is. Instead, the tongue is actually attached to this white liner on either side to give the shoe a really comfortable sock-like fit. That's actually something cool that I did not expect from the shoe at all. So it's nice to see Vans pumping out newer silhouettes like these that are more comfortable while also still looking very Vans. Apart from that, there's just a white tongue tag at the top with the Vans off the wall logo stitched on in a light bluish grey color. Coming to the inside of the shoe, you'll see this grey sock liner that Vans calls their Lux liner. There seems to be an internal heel counter at the back to prevent any heel slippage. And this along with the decent amount of padding all around and the sock-like fit of the Lux liner material all makes the shoe fit quite comfortably. I feel like it's a more comfortable version of the Vans old school. 
in how it fits, if that makes sense. Coming to the bottom, you'll see this Vans Ultra Cush insole in this bright blue color with the Vans logo printed on towards the heel area in white. The insole seems to be glued down but definitely adds to the comfort of the shoe because it's quite plush. Moving on, coming to the back of the shoe, you'll see the knitted mesh upper extends all the way to the back of the shoe where it's stitched together here. There's this plain light grey leather heel tab at the back with just a central stitching line below keeping this area pretty neat and minimal. Coming to the medial side of the shoe, it's pretty similar except for no branding tags and a slightly different knit pattern towards the forefoot and a darker grey mesh towards the back of the shoe. You'll also notice that the vents are positioned differently here as well. Moving downwards, that entire lightweight upper sits on this EVA midsole that works together with that ultra cush insole and an internal stabilizing shank to give the wearer enhanced cushioning and support. In actuality, the cushioning here is just decent. It's more comfortable than a regular pair of vulcanized Vans old schools or a pair of Chuck Taylors for sure. Instead, it feels more like a plush EVA foam so it's very comparable to any shoe with an EVA foam midsole but just a tiny bit more plush. Though that stabilizing shank does help prevent any overpronation and is definitely appreciated. That entire midsole is encased within this translucent rubber to sort of give you a peek at the midsole within. There's also the trademark Vans badge at the back of the midsole area which we all know is definitely going to wear off with heel drag eventually. I do feel like depending on the colorway that you buy of these, the rubber here will yellow and get scuffed up over time though. And then lastly, coming to the bottom of the shoe, you'll see this translucent icy outsole with this new waffle tread pattern, which is where the name of the shoe comes from. You'll notice that you can see the black internal stabilizing shank here, as well as the rest of the bluish tint of the outsole. The outsole seems to be grippy enough with plenty of traction, just like a regular pair of Vans old school, so nothing out of the ordinary here. That's about it in terms of design. You can see that this is really a more comfortable futuristic take on a classic Vans silhouette. And I think that they've actually done a really great job here. I also want to point out that the shoe is significantly lighter than most Vans shoes though, which means they also feel lighter on feet. I feel like these had a quieter release than they should have because of the pandemic and everything else going on. But if you can check these out in person, you definitely should. All right, coming to fit and sizing, I feel like these fit true to size. I'm a size UK 11 and Van sent me a size UK 11 shoe, which is the largest that they come in here and they fit pretty well. It's a sock-like fit after all, so it's a tiny bit snug for someone with wide feet like me. Ideally, I would have liked to have gone up a half size maybe, but it's not too bad. So my advice is if you have regular narrow feet, you can go true to size here. But if you have wide feet like I do, you can go true to size if you want a snug fit or upper half size if you want a more roomy fit. Of course, the best way to know for sure is to head on over to a Vans store and try these out if you can, or you can just check them out on Vans online. Moving on, in terms of comfort, these are actually pretty comfortable. Now I'm saying that compared to regular vulcanized rubber Vans shoes, because compared to those, these are a huge upgrade in terms of comfort. But if you're used to shoes with better foam cushioning, like Adidas Boost or Nike React, you probably won't find these very appealing. The cushioning here feels like the insole is memory foam in how it absorbs the impact under your feet, but there's no reactive bounce back and the rubber outsole is quite firm underneath. That being said, these are comfortable enough to wear all day and these are definitely the most comfortable van shoes so far. So for the price tag, these are actually pretty good. All right guys, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at the Vans Evident Ultimate Waffle on feet. That was the Vans Evident Ultimate Waffle. Honestly, I feel like these are just a great pair of casual shoes that you can wear anywhere. They're sleek and stylish enough to go with almost any outfit and they're breathable and comfortable enough to wear all day. The shoe is also available in kids and toddler sizes as well, which is pretty cute. Now, I wouldn't recommend skating in these though because I don't feel like that upper could handle that very well. But in terms of a new lifestyle shoe at $100, I think Vans has done a pretty good job. Funny story though, a lot of my friends thought that these were the Adidas Prada Luna Rossa 21 when they saw them on my feet. So a $100 shoe that looks like a $700 shoe? Not too bad. At the end of the day, these are one of the first all new Vans silhouettes that we've seen in ages. 
And I do think that Vans knocked it out of the park. All right, guys, so that's what I think about the brand new Vans Evident Ultimate Waffle. I'd love to know what you think about these shoes and whether you're thinking about picking up a pair. Let me know right in the comment section below. And hey, if you want to see more photos of the Vans Evident Ultimate Waffle, don't forget to check out my Instagram and maybe give me a follow at Clinton Jeff. And hey, if this video is helpful and you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button right below and maybe subscribe because that would be massively appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.